Hey turtles, I think Moto Moto likes you. No, Jack. What are we doing today? I'm gonna kill me some turtles. No killing turtles. We're catching turtles. Catching uh, them and eating them. Make some turtle soup. That's not happening, don't worry. <laughs> so, we got two nets, a bucket, and I have a secret weapon. Swimming trunks. I got my <laughs> swimming trunks too. You do? I <laughs> <laughs> didn't even know you brought them. Oh, good. Right. Just a shame I forgot my yellow belt. Yeah, why is that? Because I'm going to beat me some turtle. <laughs> Phoenix Park Lake is a popular fishing spot and home to many abandoned exotic turtles. It is here we begin our first hunt. Hmm. This size comparing. Harrison? Mine, mine's bigger than yours, Scotty. Uh, well, it's longer. Oh. For now, wait a second. The whole, oh my god, this smells like burning. <laughs> yeah, 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 hello. Yeah, I, I'm going to need some of those pills. <laughs> so the usual spot where I try and see the turtles on their log is overgrown. Means only one thing needs to be done. God, so many. Oh, I scared something. I need a net. Beautiful. I am the apex predator. This is a mere turtle. We have a problem. They ain't basking. <laughs> yeah, there's literally so many turtles right here. We're here trying to catch turtles in Phoenix Park Lake where they're invasive species. And it's gonna be a lot of fun if we actually find some turtles because we were over there, the usual spot where they always bask. But since it's so hot today, it might just be warm enough for them to be in the water now. But don't you worry. There's plenty of them. Plenty of them. Jack, I found a shelled creature. What is it? A snail. Only the, the, the turtles of the land. I mean, technically it's a water snail, but don't worry about semantics. We got one. I'm sorry, Scott. Who has a better degree in the water than I love, Jay? Shut up. <laughs> I have a degree. And I graduated first. I read an entire book about dinosaurs, did you? No, I wrote the book about dinosaurs. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, well, well, Scott's gone. I'm, I've been looking around this pond. I'm gonna find me, son. Oh my god! It's a rare albino turtle! Ricky, Ricky! <laughs> I don't know why Ricky, Ricky, but you know. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. Oh my, he's fighting back. He's fighting back. We're zoologists, by the way. Yeah, Scott, take yourself seriously, come on. That's a log. <laughs> <laughs> well, turtles are the master of disguise. I got it! Scott. Yes? I thought I was going to say, do you want to take that home? But, fair enough. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Abandoned by kids who like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Imagine being allergic to nuts and being unable to orgasm. Look at him go. He's gonna make it. But it's so hot. He just needs to get a little bit further. He needs some milk. He can do it. He needs some milk. <laughs> he needs some milk. He's missing an eye. Aww. How can you even tell that? Yeah, Scott, just mush him over like that. That's. He's <laughs> doing it. the. Hey! Couldn't do that if you tried. Unfortunately, though, not everyone made it out alive. Aww. Look at this, beautiful turtle habitat. Lots of vegetation and cover to protect turtles from predators. And enough plastic to fill a tiny turtle's stomach. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, look, a beautiful lake. Wait, what are you doing here, seagull? This isn't the ocean, you poser. We've stumbled on the remains of a turtle encampment. As you can see here, there's a tin lid there for all the beans they've eaten. You eat all my beans? It's all right, mate, it's all right. Don't have to go crazy. Scott, I can't, I can't even see it, where the hell's it gone? It's right there, you see him? Yeah, but your shadow's in the way. The small island over here. I fear no plants except nettles. Give it back. Ow. Hey, there's a little bridge. 
This is a British water scorpion or water bug. I'm not very familiar with the British species, but in America, bugs like these get so big and so menacing. See those little pincer like things? They call them gator ticks. First time I've ever seen one in the UK, so even though we haven't found a turtle, we found some of their food, and this guy is starting to get dehydrated, so he's going back in the water. But that's real cool. We found something, didn't we, Jack? And yeah, we did. Eventually, we gave up on Runcorn and decided to venture towards Liverpool instead. Sefton Park has a series of interconnected ponds, streams, waterfalls, and a small lake where, again, many people have dumped their unwanted pets. Just to keep everyone updated, Scott, can you have a little, little look at camera, please? That is a face of defeat. We've just seen a terrapin and it's run away. A little one about this big. We came over the lip of this and it was sat here, jumped in the water. We both kind of fumbled to go for it and it got away. It's somewhere over here. So I might just do this. I got some mud. Why are we catching these turtles in this pristine habitat? because invasive species like turtles pose a threat to native wildlife. So far, their presence isn't too impactful, but that's because they're unable to breed. Our summers are far too cool for them to reproduce successfully. At least, for now. I hide myself. Okay, we got him. He's right there. Gently, slowly. I think he's a hybrid between a yellow belly slider and a red head terrapin. I can't really tell. There we go. We've succeeded, Jack. We got him. Check him out. Oh, sorry, her. Yeah. Look, it's a female. So she's Bonnie? Bonnie. Bonnie, and Bonnie. There we go. Okay. Beautiful girl. Zoom in. That right there is a Muscovy duck. The potential mate over there as well. And both, this. Both are illegal immigrants and should be removed from the country. <laughs> you sounded so serious, Jack. <laughs> Usually seen throughout North America, Canadian geese are also a well established invasive species in the UK. Though, for whatever reason, they seem less aggressive over here. Look, that's a terrapin. <laughs> right over there. <laughs> you see it on the camera? Is a terrapin? Yeah, it's clearly a terrapin now, isn't it? Damn! Next to the cormorant. And we are super far away. <laughs> <laughs> you win this round, terrapin, but we know your kind lives here. So, after a hard day's work, here is our great hall. One small, unidentifiable species of terrapin. Or freshwater turtle. We'll have a closer look in a sec. So looking at the plastrum, she's very dark in coloration. I don't know if that's staining from the water. Sorry little fella, don't worry, well, little gal. Um her face looks a very uh yellow belly slider to me. Uh, for, look at her short tail. She is seeming to be a female. Yeah, you're a little lady. And, uh, yeah, shell, again, very dark. I don't know if that's from the water she's been living in. There are some faint patterns. So maybe she is a hybrid, maybe she is a painted turtle. But we'll see. We'll do some research. But for now, I think you have somewhere to go, don't you, little lady? So I've just added a bit of our own pond water in there. Doesn't look like much, but this pond is quite deep. And we do have some plants in there, plenty of food. And I'll be feeding her anyway. Once she gets a bit bigger, she'll go in a massive pond with a bunch of other terrapins in a place called Walton Gardens. I forgot the name for a second, so that's why it was a jump cut. So, little lady, without further ado, same water temperature. Would you like to meet your new home and friends? She can climb out over there, don't worry. She's like, wow, this place is deeper than I'm used to. Isn't that right, eh? And there she goes. 
So in here we have some koi carp, goldfish, and one roach, which is a wild native species of uh, what was it called? Well, it's a member of the carp family. And yeah, they get along fine with terrapins, don't you worry. Although this isn't a very natural enclosure for her, or habitat. She'll be fine in here. She'll be right for now. But yeah. Say hello to Spoopy. Spoopy the terrapin of undisclosed species. She'll like it in here.